what up guys hi beautiful people how are you all doing today i hope you guys are doing well and keeping safe welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time thank you so much for tuning in thank you for stopping by please don't make it your last please consider subscribing to my youtube channel and be part of this amazing youtube family and to my audience thank you for always coming back to watch my videos you guys are so amazing so guys in this video i'm gonna be making days in the life video so right now this is me trying to make my intro and i don't know how this video is going to end so just um whatever i don't even know what i'm gonna be showing in this video but i know for sure it's days in the life so whenever i just feel like taking my camera to vlog something i'll just take and vlog maybe it's gonna happen today tomorrow and the following day uh depending on my mood or whatever i feel like this is good to be shown on camera but it's not everything that i want to be showing on camera even though i'm a content creator you get my point so guys um this is my intro right now and it's already afternoon so right now i have things to do so i have some errands to run i have some errands to run after this video um so right now i'm just gonna stop this video. i'm going to stop this video right now and then i'm going to end this clip right now or this intro right now because i have to go to the shop just keep in your mind that this is days in the life days in my life this in queen esther tv's life <laughs> So guys, I'll catch up with you later. So guys, how was your Sunday today? How was your Sunday? So welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm Esther. If it's the first time, thank you for stopping by. Please don't make it to last. And you are highly welcome. Please subscribe and be part of the family. And to my audience, you guys are so amazing. I love you so much. Uh, so guys, um, happy Sunday to you all. I'm filming this video on a Sunday after church. Sunday. I'm filming this video on a Sunday evening after church. I just got back home now not so long ago it's past one to two the weather is just so hot as you can see um, my face is shining i don't put makeup when it's too hot in fact i don't put makeup when i go to church um to make the long story short i'm just um gonna be this is my so guys we come back from church church was so nice we had a special guest pastor kingsley and Madrid. they came to our church they came since friday they had we had a uh, conference for single seminar and marriage couple seminar so friday a single one took place and yesterday which was saturday the marriage one took place and then today we had them um, um in church for the sunday service so it was so nice so uh, i managed to do, i managed to take some video clips for you guys which i'm gonna be playing soon for you it was very nice to have them face to, to see them face to face and to have uh, to have them in our church you know uh, today's service my hands are so tired so the service was just so nice the preaching the atmosphere i wish i also took some pathway singers our apprenticeship singers were singing because they're such they're the best singers like they're, 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 they're the best they're the best so guys um stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video so right now i'm gonna be showing you guys my video the video clips i took in church of um our pastor our, of our guests because of the day which is pastor kinsley and mildred mildred i don't know if i'm saying it right okay so guys stay tuned and enjoy and i'll catch up with you later you will acknowledge the people who came with you help me welcome on this pulpit pastor or reverend kinsley okoko Blessing to be here, such an honor. 
this morning, Pastor K is bringing the word. I just came up to greet you, and I just want to say something to you. Marriage is very important to God. Very, very. God started with marriage in the garden. Yes. When Jesus did his first miracle, he was at a marriage ceremony. Yes. And at the end of time, we're all going to a wedding ceremony again when Jesus returns. Amen. So marriage is important to God. So don't do your marriage as if it's not important. Your pastor has invested so much time, energy, and now he hasn't taken the time out of his busy schedule to write you a book. And so this morning, I want to say to you what Mary, the mother of Jesus, said to them at the wedding of Cana. When they ran out of wine, as most people do in their marriages, she said something. She said, whatever he tells you to do, do it. And this morning, as I hand you over to this very capable man of God, I want to say to you that whatever he tells you to do, do it. Politics will change the world. He would have made Adam a president or a prime minister. He made him a husband and a father. If God even felt the church would change the world, he would have made Adam a pastor or a bishop. The first thing he made Adam was a husband and a father. When God showed me that, I said, even the church, because I've been a pastor for about 30 years. I love church. Everything about me is church. 30 years is most of my life. And I've been a pastor for 30 years. So when God began to show me that even the family come to for church, I said, no, how can that be? God said the church is just a backup family. Oh, somebody didn't get what I said. The church, that's why when Jesus came to establish the church, he introduced God as Father. Before that time, people knew God as God. But because he came to set up another family, that's what church is. It's a family for those that probably don't have a family. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. In fact, God showed me that the criteria to be a pastor is that you run your family well. <laughs> I thought it's the other way around. That if you're anointed pastor, your family will work. God said, no, the criteria to be a pastor is that you're running your own home well. Say, so run your own home well before you come and run God's home. Oh, you didn't get all that man. He said, run your own family well before you come and run God's family called the church. So family always comes first. Come on, tell your neighbor, family first. Family first. No, I can't feel you. Say, family first. Family first. Family first. In fact, COVID showed us. She's playing with dolls, talking to those dolls, changing the dolls' clothes, plating the dolls' hair. She's developing emotional. Mm. Then she starts watching cartoons. She starts watching romantic cartoons. Rapunzel, Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella. She's developing emotional. Her counterpart, the boy, when he's young, he's playing with God. <laughs> <laughs> I love men and ladies, don't they? Then they're playing football. No emotional development whatsoever. By the time they both grow up, there is such a disparity between them emotionally. If you're a guy in the house, whether you're single or married, I want to recommend this book, How to Make Love to a Woman Without Touching Her. The reason why this is important, and it's not a sexual book per se, is how to make love to a woman without touching her. So whether you're single or not, you to learn what is there. Why it's important is because a man and a woman are in four components, but opposite of each other. A woman is first emotional, secondly she's spiritual, thirdly she's mental, lastly she's physical. I'll repeat that. A woman is first emotional, secondly spiritual, thirdly mental, lastly physical. The man is opposite of that. A man is first physical, then secondly mental, then thirdly spiritual, then lastly emotional. Opposite. A man is first physical. If you have five children that are boy and girl, you will notice from early on the boy is restless. If a boy is on this stage and he wants to come down, he's going to jump. The girl will take the stairs, the boy will jump. He's a physical being, he's wired physically. Hey guys. Welcome back to another day. So this is me after um, this is what, this was like um after like two days. It was like it was only Wednesday 
uh, it was on Tuesday after the last video I showed you for the church so I was having this um, appointment with the school that I applied so I went to the school for my appointment and then just to find out that the no technician class were doing their practical or their practicals whatever so they were looking for models so I got this lady that wanted to do my nails but I still have to do what I went to school for because they called me for the whatever interview and stuff like that because I just want to start some training I want to have some skills so they really called me for to be a model so this is me I agreed because I wanted to get my nails done I was so excited and then I just saw her nails they're very cute and she said she's the one who did it for herself so I was like oh I'll surely come so after my interview I went to her class um to do my nails the nail technicians rights this is how we call them so guys I want to get my nails done this is me doing my nails they're actually doing tips and nail tips and gel so I got my nails done I, I, I told her the color I wanted I thought she was just like good in nails so I was trying to show her what I wanted but she couldn't do it so she decided to do what she can do what she's good at but I wanted this bright pink though she didn't have the pink I wanted so I wanted this bright pink and the good thing about the school is like when you, is that when you join the school they give you your nail kit and everything you are doing if you are doing nails and if you are doing makeup they provide makeup kits and everything you want but you're gonna have to buy your own uniform so um this is actually me doing my nails right now and the lady is, is still not good in that she's still learning so she did my nails it, it was looking so nice but the only problem I didn't like is the length of my nails were not the same and she didn't file my nails properly and even the gel I think the product, product are not original because they, they just get them fake uh, free things that's why I think it's not original because it's free so then the, the gel was not giving like it was not giving at all and then she missed some stuff because i know uh even though i don't do nails but i know whenever i go do my nails i will see what the lady does but the thing she was doing she was missing some stuff like though she's still learning i'm sure she's gonna get there so this is me doing my nails this is her massaging my hand after doing my nail so guys just forget uh, the fact that i still have to put my hand back in the uv lamp the reason is when the teacher came to, uh, to see what she was doing she had to fix some nails and put back the gel on that's why i have to put back my hand in the uv lamp so she, she did both ha both hands and she, she, she did a very big flower that made me uncomfortable as i'm talking to you right now my nails are short i already cut them short because of the length it did not give the vibe of a good length so i just have to cut them short so that i'll be able at least to like them before i take i remove them for other things that i'll be doing so guys enjoy the rest of the video i'm done talking i'm done blabbing like i'm just blabbing so much right now so this is me right now i want to end this video now because i don't know what else to film it's already on a sunday and i want to really be uploaded i want to upload the video right straight away so that's why i'm just making this i'm just making this video quickly i'm i'm just putting this voice over quickly so that i can upload my video i want to make a um